Zoo and the best present. Hello, you two. Hi, Mum. Hi. Did you have a good day at school, Bizu? Yes, brilliant. All clear and safe to cross. <laughs> huh? Are you coming, Zoo? I was just wondering why Mrs. Zolly had <laughs> such a big smile today. Bigger than normal. <laughs> yeah, she was smiling like that this morning, too. Well, here she comes. Huh? Why don't you ask her? Zoo, Elsie, are you still here? It's home time, don't you know? Yes, but why are you so very smiley today? Even more than most days. Oh, am I? Well, I'll tell you why. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday for tomorrow. Oh, I do love birthdays, don't you? Presents. And cake. I would love to go on a long holiday, lying on a ship, sailing around the world <laughs> and eating tropical fruits. <gasps> Maybe one day. Oh, got to stop the traffic. People need to cross. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, Elsie. A holiday around the world would be a fantastic birthday present. I think anyone would love that. Mm -hmm. Elsie! Elsie! <laughs> what is it, Zoo? I think it would be really good if we got Mrs. Zolly a birthday present. What sort of present? I'm not sure. But if we both put our pocket money together, we could get her something nice. That's a great idea, Zoo. Meet me in the garden as soon as you can. <laughs> That's a lot of pocket money. Pock, do you want to help find a birthday present for Mrs. Zolly? <laughs> hmm. Hi, Mum. Sorry, need to hurry. What are you up to, Elsie? Zoo and I are going to buy Mrs. Zolly a birthday present. Oh, buy one? Well, perhaps making her something would be a lovely thing to do. Got it! Me too! Oh, that's not enough for a holiday. No but we can still get something very special. She deserves it. But what? And where from? Oh, it's always difficult finding the perfect birthday gift. <laughs> the problems I have with your grandma. Anyway, if you're looking for something special... Very special. Well then, I can't think of a better place than your Aunt Zelda's shop. That's a brilliant idea, Grandpa. Why don't I come along with you? Three heads are better than two. Oh, but it's getting late. We need to hurry. Mrs. Zolly really wants to go on holiday, sailing around the world and eating tropical fruit. Oh, sounds very grand. I I'm sure we can find something just as nice. Coming, Zoo? Uh, <clears throat> yes, Grandpa. Wow! Ooh! <gasps> there are so many things in there! How will we ever choose? Whatever we choose, we'll have to be quick. It's nearly closing time. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Oh! Hi, Aunt Zelda. Oh, Zoo, Elsie, hello.
Hello. What a surprise to see you. Ah, and Grandpa, too. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. Is there anything special you're looking for? Yes, very special. A birthday present for Mrs Zolly, the lollipop lady. Well, take a look around. I've plenty of very special things that would make excellent gifts. Ah, may I help you, madam? Ooh. Look at this. What about this? But that's not very pretty. But that cushion hurts my eyes. <laughs> Uh, have you found something? Is this a special thing, Grandpa? Oh, uh, you could say that. But is it a nice present? Mm, not really. I think we should carry on looking. OK, I'll look over here and I'll go this way. Yes, Pock, you can help look too. It's a nice bowl, Pock, but not very special. <gasps> <gasps> oh, this is practically exclusive. Phew. Maybe you should just sit somewhere safe now, Pock. Dolly can't go on a holiday sailing around the world, but with this model ship, she could imagine what it's like. Oh, Zoo, I think she'd like that. Oh, but do we have enough money to buy it? Quick, let's count. <laughs> oh dear, we don't have enough. We're only one coin short. So near and yet so far. <laughs> Here, I think Mrs. Zolly's worth it, don't you? Ah, oh, thank you, Grandpa. Now we have enough. <gasps> but where did it go? Oh, very good choice, sir. You were lucky. I only had one left. <gasps> we're too late. Oh. I'm afraid you'll have to choose something else. But there isn't anything else that both of us like. I really wanted to give Mrs Zolly that model sailing ship. I know where we can still get one. We must hurry. Oh, nothing takes your fancy. <sighs> there, I knew I saw one earlier. It's not as big as the one in your aunt's shop, but it would still make a nice present. I'm afraid it's past closing time. We were too late. It doesn't matter. We've still got time to sort out a present. But how? Now all the shops are shut. If we can't buy a present, Elsie, then we'll have to make one. Ooh. So you're going to make Mrs Ollie a birthday present? Yes. yes. What a brilliant idea! Who'd have thought? We're going to make a model ship. Thanks, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be a lovely present. But there's something missing. Something to make it extra special. It looks a bit empty. It needs something to go inside it. What was it that Mrs Ollie said she wanted to do if she went on holiday? Eat tropical, tropical fruit. fruit! My mum has some too. Mangoes and a pineapple. It will be the best present. <laughs> yes! Yay! Hello, Zoo. Hello, Elsie. Ready to cross? Not yet. No? Why is that? 
We just wanted to say... Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> For me? Oh. oh, my! I didn't expect any presents. <gasps> a sailing ship? With a cargo of tropical fruits. Do you like it? Oh, it's the best present I could wish for. <gasps> Thank you, both of you. <laughs> now you can imagine what it's like to go on a cruise. I can. Shall we imagine it together? Come on, then. Brazil, Africa, India, Japan. <laughs> we could imagine sailing anywhere in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo and Nana's hat. Oh, well done, Nana. We're all very proud of you. Oh, it's not just me who's been invited to the Mayor's Mansion tonight, dear. <laughs> but you're the most important, Nana. Oh, not really, Zoo. <laughs> You've lived in this town longer than anyone else we know. That's why you're invited. Several of my friends are going too. I'm sure all the guests will have bought something new to wear for such a special occasion. <laughs> my blue dress and my old feather hat will do just fine. Your old hat's a bit worn out. You should buy yourself a new one, Nana. You want to look your best? Why don't we go shopping? Hmm? Go on. Buy a new hat, Nana. Buy a new hat. Oh, well, if you think so. <laughs> Look at my wooden aeroplane! My paper plane can stay up longer. Hey! That wasn't very good. Neither of them flew very far. <laughs> Mine went a bit further than Zoo's. I wonder what kind of plane would stay up longer. Oh, you could try using feathers. <laughs> Hello, Pock. <laughs> Feathers work well enough for birds, so they must be good. But there might be some in the garden. I'll look under the bushes. I'll see if I can find some feathers in my house. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a new hat, Nana? Oh, yes, dear. A beautiful new hat. I won't be needing my old feather hat anymore, that's for sure. Mm. Aha! Nana's old hat. She said she won't be needing it anymore. Brilliant! I found a few feathers. I couldn't find any feathers, but I found a really big leaf. <sighs> that was no good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got something we can share. Ta-da! I found wow. lots and lots of feathers. Wow. There's enough there for 20 <laughs> planes. Let's get flying. If you angle the tail feathers, you'll get a better spin on takeoff. Is that all right, Grandpa? <laughs> Perfect, too. And mine? Oh, well done, Elsie. Finished! Excellent. Let's see them in action. Yeah! <laughs> One, two, three, go! Wow! <laughs> Mine's the fastest! Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Mine's still going! 
<laughs> oh, no. What? What on earth has happened? Well, I have no idea. I left it in my room when we came back from town. I can't go to the mayor's mansion wearing a hat with no feathers. You must go, Nana. You've still got your old hat. No, you were right in the first place. Compared to the new one, it looks worn out. We could dash back to the shops. There isn't time. Anyway, they won't have another hat I'd like as much as the one I bought. You were so looking forward to going out, Nana. Let's just forget about it, dear. One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Quieten down. What's wrong, Grandpa? Nana's upset. But she was all right when she went to the shops. Well, from what Grandma's just told me, she's certainly not fine now. <gasps> Nana? Hello, dear. Are you all right? Uh, yes, thank you, Zoo. Shouldn't you be getting ready to go to your party? No, I'm not going. Why not? Nana's had a shock, Zoo. I was planning to wear my new hat, but it's ruined. That's why I'm not going. Oh, no! Grandpa! Grandpa! Oh, Zoo! Oh, I've done something terrible. What's the matter? I ripped the feathers off Nana's new hat to make our aeroplanes. It was an accident. I thought it was her old hat. She said she didn't need it anymore. I didn't know it was Nana's new hat. There are still a few feathers left on it, but not enough. Because of this, Nana's not going to the mayor's mansion tonight. Oh, dear. She was so looking forward to it. Nana must go, Grandpa. She absolutely must go. You know, we could make a new hat by mixing flowers in among the feathers. Flowers? Why not? They're beautiful and... and they're everywhere. White and pink. Is that a good mix, Elsie? Perfect, Zoo. <laughs> Thanks, Pork. Watch out for the roses, Zoo. They're prickly. How about using another daisy? Good idea, Zach. I think you need more lilies around the edge of the hat. Mmm. They smell so good. What do you think, Grandpa? Beautiful. Maybe a big pink lily on the top. This is going to be the most beautiful hat in the world. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> um, Nana, Zoo's got something to tell you. Yes, darling. I took the feathers off your hat, Nana. You? Why? It was a mistake. I thought you didn't need it anymore, so I took it to make toy aeroplanes. It would have been nice if you'd asked me, Zoo. I'm so sorry, Nana. Uh, Zoo's made you a new hat. I hope you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a hundred times better than the one I bought this morning. <sighs> now I can go to the mayor's mansion. Ooh, 
<laughs> thank you, Zoo. My friends help me too. Oh, thank you, Elsie and Zack. Oh, you've made me very, very happy. <laughs> Have fun, Nana. I will! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Bye! Bye. She looked lovely. Beautiful. Magnificent. Like a film star. <laughs> she smelt nice too. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo the Inventor. And this wonderful invention is still helping us today in our everyday life. <laughs> wow! See that pop? See you next week with some brand new inventions. Bye for now. That's it! <laughs> it says slot C into Q. Oh. Where's Q? Oh. Could this be it? Hey, everyone. Guess what? I'm going to be an inventor when I grow up. I'm going to invent loads of stuff to help other people. Oh, that's a great idea, Zoo. Just imagine an inventor in the family. And I've got loads of ideas already. The only thing is, I may need somebody to help me. Sorry, Bizu. Dad and I can't help just now. We've got to put this tea trolley together. Well, Zoo, maybe I can. I thought you were supposed to be helping me with the blueberry pie. Oh, uh, 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 yes, yes, I was. But um, uh, Zoo might need a little technical advice. Isn't that right, Zoo? <laughs> yes, Grandpa. In that case, off you go. <laughs> Make sure you're back for tea or the pie will get cold. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back. Look, Grandpa. A plane without an engine. It flies on the wind like a, a bird, so it doesn't make any pollution. Oh, now that's an excellent invention, Zoo. But just one small thing. This invention has already been invented. Uh. <laughs> it's called a glider, and like you say, it flies like a bird. Oh. Um. Oh, but don't give up, Zoo. Inventors spend ages looking for the right idea. You'll find one, too. Hello, you two. Um, I just got a plant from Mr. Zoe. I don't suppose you've got a pot in here I could put it in? Oh, I must have one somewhere. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Ah! <laughs> uh, as long as I can reach it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you're in luck, Nana. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Nana. Don't mention it. Oh, it's just as well you were here. That shelf's far too high for me to reach. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Grandpa, you see these springs? Oh, those? They're from an old bed base. Can I borrow them? Of course you can. <laughs> I was hoping they'd come in useful one day. And it looks as though they have. Thanks, Grandpa. Mm, that should be enough. I just need one more thing. I'll be back in a bit. Don't go away, Grandpa. Oh, I'm far too curious to see what you've invented to be going anywhere, Zoo. <laughs> oh! But these are nano slippers, aren't they? That's right. They've got to be comfortable. <laughs> so 
Grandpa. What do you think of my invention? It's, uh, uh, very inventive. I've never seen slippers like these before. I know, because they're not ordinary slippers anymore. Thanks, Bok. Come on. <laughs> oh, come in. Ta-da! Look, Nana. I've invented these especially for you. Once you put these on, you'll be able to jump so high, you'll be able to get anything you want from any high shelf. They're brilliant, aren't they? And you could use them to get to Mr Zoe's really fast. I've called my invention the Bouncing Slippers. My word! Very clever. This invention deserves a kiss. Ooh. Yes, we inventors think up all sorts of things. You are going to try them on, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe a little later, Zoo. Oh, it's so kind of you to think of your old Nana. Now, I'll keep them safely here, and if ever I feel like bouncing, I'll have those bouncing slippers handy. Glad you like them, Nana. Come on, Puck. Let's go and invent something else. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we could invent something to help. <laughs> mm. That's it! Grandpa, oh. can I borrow your book, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, of course, Sue. There you go. There! The self-turning book. Hang on, Grandpa. You've got to switch it on first. Oh! <laughs> I invented it for you, Grandpa. What do you think? Oh, ho, ho, ho. now this will be very handy, Zoo. It, it, it turned the pages rather quickly. But it's still a great invention. Now I can learn to speed read. I'm really glad you like it, Grandpa. I'll go and see if I can help anyone else. See you later. <clears throat> Um. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Dad, I thought you were supposed to be putting the tea trolley together. Well, that was the idea. Is it difficult? I could help you if you like. Thanks, Sue, but you won't be able to. The wheels are missing from the kit. Hmm. Hang on, Dad. I think I can help. Don't take it apart just yet. I'll be back in a minute. Oh. Hmm. Grandpa, quick! I thought of a new invention, but I'm going to need your help. Excellent. So, what have you invented, Sue? You know the tea trolley Dad was putting together? The one from the kit? Yes. Well, it hasn't got any wheels. They forgot to put any in the box. Oh, yes, that would be a bit of a problem for a tea trolley. But we can reinvent it. <laughs> <clears throat> you want to add some new wheels, is that it? Yes, but something else as well. Ooh, like what? Mm. Yes! <laughs> now, these are the wheels of the shopping trolley and some bits from our go-kart. See? We can make something like that. What do you think, Grandpa? Hmm, it's looking good. I've never seen anything like it before. Come on, let's get cracking. Good. Some help at last. Thank you, dear. That's what we're here for, Grandma. Uh, you two, off you go. We'll deal with the tea. You're not getting rid of us just so you two scamps can eat all the pie, are you? Grandma, as if. We just want to help. Sounds good to me, Zoo. 
I'll go and have a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we'd be using these again. Still, you never know what's going to come in useful. <laughs> now, if we put this just here... They might work better here, Grandpa. Yes, I think you're right. Just here. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Could you inventors hurry up, please? The pie's going to get cold. Come in, Grandma. We're nearly finished. <gasps> oh. oh, Zoo. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Tea is served. Brought to you by my best ever invention. The remote-controlled tea trolley. It's a brilliant invention, Zoo. I won't need to go back to the shop now. The tea trolleys they sell there aren't half as good as this. Would you like some tea, Grandma? Oh, thank you, Zoo. You're my favourite little inventor. Do you want some more blueberry pie, Mum? Mmm. Oh, you read my mind. You are clever, Bizu. This remote control trolley is exactly what I needed. Well done, Zoo. I couldn't have done it without Grandpa and Pop. Who'd like some more tea? Me! Me. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo, the first aider. Nice day at school, children. Yes, yes thank, thank you, Mrs. Rolly. I can jump too. Watch this. Zack, no running on the crossing. Oh, oh. Zack, are you all right? No. The rotten pavement. He tripped me up. Ow. Oh, dear. You took quite a tumble there, Zack. Yes. Let's have a look at you. Where does it hurt? Mm, here. Oh, uh, I mean, here. This one. <gasps> It can't be that bad if you can't remember which ankle it was. <laughs> Ooh. Hold still, Zack, and we'll have you back on your feet in no time. Thanks, Mrs Ollie. It's feeling better already. And Mrs Ollie was really brilliant. Yes, you should have seen her bandaging Zack's ankle. And it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> well, it's lucky Mrs Zolly was there. She's an excellent first aider. What's a first aider, Mr Zoe? Huh? A first aider is someone who helps you if you hurt yourself. You know, if you have a cut or a bit of a bump. Mm. Well, thanks for looking after Zack. It seems you two are sort of first aiders yourselves. Yes, I am. I decided, when I grow up, I'm going to be a first aider, just like Mrs Zolly. What a good idea, Zoo. Careful with those cakes, Grandma. That's a hot oven. We don't want you burning yourself. Well, if I did, it's a comfort to know that we've got a first aider in the house. <laughs> now. What every first aider needs is a first aid kit. Oh, I haven't got one of those. Hmm. You soon will have. I've got just the very bag for your kit upstairs. And I think I can find the right things to put in it. Brilliant! There. And I've made some red crosses for it. That way people will know it's a proper first aid kit. Wow! Thanks, Grandma. And here we are, Zoo. Some bandages, some plasters, some cotton wool. There we go, Bizu. Thanks, Mum. Mum, Grandma, are you feeling all right? Uh, yes, I think so, Zoo. Just checking. We first aiders need to keep a lookout for everyone. Come on, 
on, Pock. Let's go and find my first patient. <laughs> Grandpa! Hmm? Oh, hello, Sue. Hello, Grandpa. How are you feeling today? Very well indeed, thank you, Sue. Never better. Oh, Ooh. that's good. Oh, what's that you've got there? It's my first aid kit, Grandpa. I'm a first aider now. Ah, so that's why you wanted to know how I am. Yes. Well, now you come to mention it, I did bang my leg a little while ago while I was mending this chair. Great! Oh, I mean, oh dear. Sorry to hear that, Grandpa. Sit down here. <coughs> oh, uh, oh dear. Let's take a look at you. Does it hurt when I do this? Ouch! Oh, yes, yes, that's the spot. Hmm, I think we need to bandage you up. <laughs> you may have another patient there, Zoo. All right, Grandpa. Oh, good. Then you'd better finish bandaging my poor old leg. <laughs> Hold still, Grandpa. I'll soon have you back on your feet again. <laughs> there you go. Now we'll make sure you rest the leg. Thank you, Zoo. Now, I'm going to find another patient. Ouch! That sounds like a job for Zoo, the first aider. Nino, woo, woo, Nino, woo, woo, Nino, woo, woo, Nino, woo, oh, woo. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh. Dad, are you all right? Oh, yes, just a little cut. Caught myself on my briefcase. Nothing to worry about. Let me have a look. I'm a first aider. Oh, good. And I'm in safe hands. You are. Hmm. You need a plaster on that. When I get a cut, Mum puts one of these on me. Oh, just a little problem <laughs> with the... Huh? <laughs> oh, there's a plaster still. Oh, get off. <laughs> Whoops. I'll get another one. <laughs> there. Thanks, Sue. It feels better already. Mm. Oh, must be off. Don't want to be late for my meeting. See you later. And I need to find my next patient. So, is there anything Zoo the First Aider can do for you, Nana? Well, now you come to mention it, there's my lips. They haven't had a kiss for ages. Mm. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> Bye, Nana. Bye, Zoo. <laughs> on these nettles. Oh, sorry, Mum. But don't worry. I'm a first aider. I'll have you better in no time. Oh, thank you, Zoo. Let's go in the house. Grandma! Mum's just got stung by some nettles. And, um, I don't think I know what to do with nettle stings. Oh, maybe I do. See this? It's baking powder. Now, if you mix a little bit with some water. Thanks, Grandma. Now I know what to do for next time. And why don't you come with me while Zoo gets the paste ready? <laughs> Clean your arm with water and then Zoo will dab it dry with a cloth. Oh, OK, Grandma.
carefully, Zoo, or you'll run the little nettle hairs in and make it sting even more. You're doing a great job, Zoo. And now you spread the paste on the stings. Can you sit down, please, Mum? Oh, that feels better already. Well, I am a first aider. Oh, oh, I must dash. I'm supposed to be going out with Grandpa. I'd better hurry or I'll be late. Have a good time, Grandma. And thanks for the help. You're welcome, Sue. Where's Pog, Sue? He usually goes everywhere with you. Oh, I don't know. Pog! What's he doing in the living room? Pog! Oh, Pog! What's happened? Oh, it's the plaster I threw away. It's my fault. Sorry, Pock. You must have been stuck here for ages because of me. Zoo? You haven't seen Grandpa, have you? I can't seem to find him. No, Grandma. Last time I saw him, he was in the garage. I'll go and have a look. Oh, thank you, Zoo. Grandpa! Grandpa, have you forgotten? You're supposed to be going out with... <sighs> Oops. No, Zoo. I hadn't forgotten. <laughs> I just got a bit tied up, that's all. Sorry, Grandpa. I'll soon have you free. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Zoo. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Grandma. Oh, no. They were nearly late. All because of me. They left just in time. I didn't make a very good first aider. I stuck Pork and tied up Grandpa. Yes, you did. Look, my arm. It's all better now. What would I do without my little Bizu? <laughs> Zoo's igloo. Snow before? Oh. Ooh. Nana! Why is it so chilly down here? Look, Nana! Snow! Oh, that's why. Ooh. Think I'll go back to bed and stay nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. Morning, Bizu. I thought you'd be playing in the snow by now. It's blocked! <gasps> oh dear. I need to go to the shops later. How am I going to get out? I think we need to move the snow. That's a very good idea. Hmm. <sighs> we finished! Phew! That took longer than I thought. A good job I had you helping me, Zoo. That's the front of the house cleared. Hmm. Now for the car. I'll help. Thanks, Zoo, but I should be able to manage this one. Oh, Grandpa is clearing the back door. He could probably use some help. OK. Do you need any help, Grandpa? Oh, oh yes, please, Sue. Yeah, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's getting very chilly indoors with all these doors left open. We need to keep them closed. OK. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> There's so much snow around, we might as well live in an igloo. <laughs> It'd be warmer. <laughs> an igloo? What's that? It's a house made of snow. Why would that be warmer? Oh, because once you're inside, the air warms up and can't escape. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm looking for a picture of an igloo pock. There should be one here somewhere. There! So that's what an igloo looks like. It'll make a great den to play in. And we've got so much snow to build it with. But... Oh, there aren't any instructions. <laughs> How hard can it be? <laughs> this will be a good spot to build the igloo, Pock. But how do I start? Hmm. An igloo is dome-shaped. So let's start by building a dome. <laughs> now I have a dome. Oh, but I can't get inside it. I'll have to dig it out. The snow is packed too tight. I'm not getting very far. And my hands are getting cold. Oh, let's go and get warm, Pock. Then we can come back out for another go. Here you are, Sue. This will warm you up. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> As soon as we warm up, Pock, we can go out and try building the igloo again. Are you sure you want to go back out there and try again? Ah, oh, yes. i got a better idea of how to make the igloo. I'm going to build it from the inside out. We'll start again here. <laughs> Build an igloo. Why don't you have a biscuit, Zoo? They're still warm. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Circles. I wonder. <clears throat> That's the first layer done. <laughs> now for the next. Oh, no. That's no good. There are gaps in the wall. And that means the cold will get inside the igloo. Hmm. I thought I'd worked it out this time. You'll soon get warm again, Sue. That's my best scarf. I really wanted an igloo, Grandma. Then I could have stayed out in the snow all day long. Oh, are you giving up? I don't know. Zoo? I thought you were building an igloo. I tried and tried, Grandpa, but every time it goes wrong. I've tried making a dome and walls and using snowballs. Bricks. What? Pardon? You should try building it out of bricks. Bricks made of snow. Hmm. Houses are made of bricks. And they say sanding and they don't have gaps in them. You're right, Grandpa. But... How should I make them? Well, perhaps you should look for something to mould them in. <laughs> what can I use to make the snow bricks? Hmm, this shoebox is the right shape, but it's made of cardboard, so it'd get all soggy. <gasps> perhaps my pencil case. Nah, it's too squidgy. Hmm. Aha! I know! I'll use 
my bucket and spade. Now I'll have that igloo built in no time, Pock. <laughs> Come on, Pock. Yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> it's working, Pock. <laughs> that tiggles. Oh no, the snow's gonna fill my igloo before I can finish it. Oh, don't give up, Zoo. I might have an idea. As it's snowing, it might be a good idea to use this tent. We can put it up, sit inside, and wait for the snow to stop. <sighs> That's a good idea, Grandpa. Although, it won't be as good as a proper igloo. It's finished! Let's get inside. <laughs> Ooh, it's colder than I thought. It's not warm like an igloo would be. Maybe we should go indoors. <gasps> Grandpa, look! My word! <laughs> it almost looks like an igloo. If it keeps snowing, it will be an igloo. <gasps> I'm going to go and get Elsie. Well, while you do that, I'll go and make some hot chocolate. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> it's amazing, Zoo. How did you make it? Grandpa helped me. Now we can play in the snow, but still keep warm my igloo. Come on! Hmm. It's not cold in here like it is outside. Can I join you? Of course, Grandpa. <laughs> I come bearing hot chocolate and toasted sandwiches. Yummy! I love my igloo. It's amazing. <laughs> Is it too warm for you up there, Pop? Maybe you should go outside and cool down. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo, the waiter. Oh, that was a lovely meal. Thank you, dear. Oh, yes. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> My pleasure. Wasn't the waiter brilliant? Would Sir prefer the spinach or the broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to be a waiter. The soup of the day is cream of tomato, madam. <gasps> is that Uncle Xavier's car? Oh, if it is, he's been here a while, judging by the snow. Glad to be home. So, we'll see you later then. We're looking forward to it. Looking forward to what? Ah, young zoo. We'd like more people to know about our shop, so we've invited lots of important people to a little party. And me. I'm coming too. I'm very important. Hmm. Yes, it is going to be rather special. There's going to be little snacks and drinks and... and... Oh, do they need a waiter? I could be a waiter. Would Madame care for another sandwich? Oh, yes. I want to be a waiter too. Can we, Daddy? Can we? Well, it'll be a lot of hard work and... But it'll be fun too. Oh, please, Daddy. Pretty please. Of course you can, my precious. I'm going to be a waiter. I'm going to be a waiter. Will Sir be wanting coffee? <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, Elsie. Hi, Zoo. Want to come and play in the snow? No, Elsie. I'm not playing today. I'm going to work. Huh? I'm going to be a waiter 
Our Uncle Xavier shop. You can come too if you like. <gasps> yes, please. Well, time we were getting on. The party starts soon. <laughs> Where's the car? I thought I left it here. <laughs> here it is, Uncle Xavier. What? Oh, no. It'll take ages to dig it out from all that snow. <laughs> 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 Whoops, here. Let me give you a hand, Xavier. Thanks. I... <laughs> oh, dear. Look at me. <gasps> You're all wet and snowy, Daddy. And I'm cold, and... How am I ever going to get back to the shop in all this snow? Um... Tennis rackets. Zoo, it is the middle of winter. This is no time to be playing tennis. No, we're not going to play tennis. We've got some old tennis rackets in the garage. We can tie them to our feet and use them as snowshoes. Great idea. I'm going to get some snowshoes too. Come on, Dad. <laughs> This is a good idea of yours, Zoo. There aren't enough tennis rackets to go around, so someone can travel on the sledge as well. Oh. <laughs> we'll soon be back at your shop, Xavier. Yes, good. Thank you. Oh. Ah, there you are. Xavier, the guests will be arriving soon. This is no time for playing in the snow. I haven't been playing. I've been falling over. The car's stuck in the snow and I'm cold and wet. Well... We'd better get you inside, then. I'm not sure we'd ever need one of these at home. No. Wow! <laughs> Please be careful when you pass these round. We will. Waiters are always careful and calm and well behaved. Waiters? What waiters? Them. The children. Zinnia did so want to help out. But they'll be fine. Now, before the guests arrive, I really should find something dry to change into. Now, when the guests arrive, we have to go around with these trays of snacks. What about the drinks, Sue? Um, well, maybe we should do them first. Hmm. Would you care for a drink, madame? Sir? Oh, thank you, Bizu. I mean, uh, thank you, waiter. Nice work, Sue. You have a go now, Elsie, with the snacks. Ooh, I love these. Oh. My favourite. <clears throat> hey, Zinnia, we're waiters. The snacks aren't for us. Mm. Ew. But, oh, <gasps> Oh, look what you made me do! Oh, no harm done. They're all fine. Look, my turn to do waitering. Huh? <gasps> oh no, look out! Phew! <laughs> that was wrong! <laughs> What's all this mess? 
Sue, what's happened? And what are you doing on the floor? Zinnia, your dress! It's covered in... Ilzy, what are you doing with that? It's extremely expensive. Sorry. We, um, we had a bit of an accident. Oh, Zoo. <laughs> I can see that. All over the shop. And our important guests will be here any moment. I should never have agreed to you waitering for us. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking of. It wasn't, Zoo. It was all my fault. I was helping myself to some volivon, and I tripped and knocked them over, and then I bumped into that thing, and the thing on top fell off, and Zoo caught it, but... <sighs> well, perhaps I was a little hasty. Sorry, Zoo. <laughs> there, there, Zinnia. It's all right now. It will be, Daddy. Once we've tidied up... <laughs> Hello? How unfortunate. Thanks ever so much for letting us know. That was the mayor. He can't come. He's snowed in. Hmm. Hello? Oh, I see. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Another time. Lord Zachary, he can't get out of his mansion. The snow. Hmm. Oh, I see. Another time. Well, that's the last of the guests. No one can come. Oh, I was looking forward to being a waiter. So what are we going to do with all this food? Um... I think I know some people who might be able to come. Hello? 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 Oh, what's that? I think it's a vase, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for a cucumber sandwich, sir? <laughs> Mr. Zoe to you, Zoo. <laughs> Not while I'm the waiter. Oh, thank you. Madam, may I interest you? Oh, yes, you may. <laughs> Nana, people don't usually kiss the waiter. Not even if he's the best waiter in the world.